Hi and welcome to cloudwords.net and another video here on our YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about online backup. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> we talk a lot about cloud storage and online backup and this time we're focusing on and narrowing down on one particular provider which is called Backblaze. And Backblaze is certainly one of the favorite online backup services of many users online. You can see that in our feedback threads and our Backblaze review. You can see that on other tech magazines that review that online backup service and we are here at the office, uh, also users of Backplace, and we're pretty happy with it because it works very simple. Now, in this video, we're going to cover exactly how to use Backplace. And the good thing is, it is not very difficult to use. So you can really be relaxed uh, when we just browse through the software and explain to you a little bit of the, uh, of the details. So first of all, let's say that Backplace is an online backup service that provides you with unlimited online storage, meaning you can back up an unlimited amount of files that are either on external hard drives or on your computer and the software takes care of backing all those files up without you having to think about it if you don't want to. And Backplace uses a different approach than most online backup services and I've uh, covered that in, in a couple of the videos before where I also compare Carbonite and CrashPlan to Backplace and you can check out all those videos here and here because I think this gives you a well-rounded idea of what other online backup services do. So Backblaze backs up everything that is on your computer, all the files that are non-reinstallable. So uh, movie files, audio files, documents, uh, and other files, emails, obviously. Everything that you need to be backed up is going to be stored in the Backblaze cloud. Now what Backblaze doesn't back up is application files, and we've covered that in a different video. Um, here on this YouTube channel. So you cannot make a bare metal backup or a full system image backup with Backblaze. That is not possible. If you want to do that, you might want to check out Carbonite where you have to pay $150 per year for a full system backup. But um, it will take a while until everything is backed up. So you need to have a very fast internet connection for that to work. Now, after you installed Backblaze on your computer, you just sign up with your email address, you get a 15-day free trial, so you can really uh, test the service out uh, whatever, how, however you, you like. You can upload files, you can download files again, meaning restoring files um, to test the service in, the, in, the, in this period of, uh, of 15 days. So um, it just works very automatically. So installing the software on your computer is, is very easy. Um, it then starts with the backup automatically. You don't have to select any files because it will just scan your whole operating system and it doesn't matter if you're on the Mac or on the Windows. You can, however, if you like, you can exclude certain files or file types or archives or folders that you don't wish to back up. For example, in my case, I exclude the downloads folder because I exclusively use that download folder for documents and files that I only want to store temporarily on my computer and then have a script that runs uh, every week or so that deletes the entire download folder. And I don't want to back all those files up and waste, uh, and waste precious uh, bandwidth. So you just uh, schedule your backups with the Backblaze software either in a continuous automatic fashion, which is recommended obviously, and I highly, highly recommend you do that. So Backblaze scans your computer for changes, for updates of files, and then would uh, run, the back, run the backup every half an hour or hour or so, backing up all the, the, recent, the recent changes. Now, if you want to save bandwidth, if you're on a very uh, on a very limited internet connection, or use the bandwidth for something else during your workday, um, you can then schedule your backups for the night. So you that the Backblaze client would collect all the all the files together in one list, and then only backs those files files up um, at the scheduled interval. Another option that you have is you can back up only when you hit the backup now button. Now, obviously for me, this is very cumbersome. I don't want to think about hitting the button and then maybe forgetting about it and having to restore my files and then they're not there. So I would recommend leaving it in continuous mode. If you like, you can limit the bandwidth that you give Backblaze to back up your files. So if you uh, frequently upload other files uh, to the cloud or to YouTube or um, to other servers that you're using and you need that bandwidth, you can just limit it down, narrow it down a little bit um, so that uh, you can uh, you can really um, 
dissect the service as you wish and do the settings that you like and are necessary for your uh, setup. Now, Backplace has a very limited feature set. Uh, we've covered that in our reviews and in our other videos. They, it's just an online backup service. Now, it's not an online storage service. So, you cannot or you should not uh, use Backplace to free up space on your hard drive because that's not how it works. If, back, if the Backplace software doesn't find the files on, their, on, on your computer for um, a period of 30 days, it will delete those files automatically. So that's what you have to keep in mind. That counts also for external hard drives. There are many complaints about this policy, but Backblaze makes it very clear that you need to connect those external hard drives every 30 days in order for them uh, to be recognized by the software and the files to be backed up. So remember to always connect those hard, th that hard drive every 30 days. It's, very, it's a cumbersome process. I wish they would change that. Maybe they'll do in the, in the future, but for now, that's the standard setting. So overall, that is how Backblaze works. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it was a helpful addition in your, in your decision-making process whether or not Backblaze is the right choice for your online file backups. Now, if you like to check out other options, please go ahead here and click there to our comparison chart where we compare over 30 online backup services. You can really drill down into the nitty gritty features and compare the major services such as CrashPlan, Carbonite, Just Cloud, um, um, and, and, and other services side by side, and then choose the service that fits your needs best. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. I'll be most happy to answer your questions and also give it your thumbs up and share this video with anybody who might be looking for an online backup solution or just share it because backup is a very important topic and many people tend to ignore that. So we're gonna see us hopefully in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. See ya.